for smelt fishing. <laughs> and like Connor, I'm here with some James McFlurry and clickbaiting the Northwest. Yep. Do you want to say anything, Avery? Um, we're gonna slay them today. I know that for a fact. I haven't caught anything because I'm fishing with a fly rod. And I actually have caught like ten. So, that just proves to you guys who's a better and fisherman. Then, um, James over here is shaking his some hand warmer, yeah. and it's like high 30s, so I don't know what Oh, yeah, saying. it's pretty warm out here, you guys. High 30s. Pretty yeah. warm. <laughs> because he's not used to duck hunting in teen weather. So we're gonna go out here and you might as well just point the camera at me because I'm the only one catching fish here. Yeah. And you're about to James, you're supposed to fall in the water. My dad's hooked up. Yeah. Nice herring, it's small. James caught a monster though. Did he? See, look at that. Nice oh, one. The Carnage Smelt Derby 2017. It's 11.45 right now. I've caught zero fish. I've had a couple bites. Um, Avery has caught like 10 herring. And James caught like three herring, and Dad's caught like three herring too. I've had a couple bites, but I haven't caught anything. Um, Avery and James, they went over to Coronet. They're going to go over to Coronet Bay. Um, we're just going to stay here, give it a couple more minutes. I don't know. It's pretty slow. I mean, the current's ripping pretty fast. I mean, look, look at my line. I don't know if you can see. But it's ripping. I mean, I was using my minnow trap or whatever, and I put like two three-pound rocks in there. And it, it was still, it still didn't hit bottom in, I don't know. They were biting when we first got here around 8 o'clock, but then like it kind of slowed down. So I don't know, I'll show you the herring here in a minute. Here's my dad's three herring right here. As you can see, they're kind of big. I don't know. Well guys, I finally caught two herring. Finally, after like three hours, the current just started to slow down and we caught some. Well guys, I, we were just hang, heading back and then I caught this pogey perch. And the derby here, there is a prize bracket for like miscellaneous, like the um, biggest fish besides um, herring or a smell. And I think, I don't know, this might qualify, I'm not sure. There's also another um, bracket for our weirdest thing caught on a smell jig. And this is kind of weird, I guess, I don't know. But hopefully it works out. With this fish right here, I think I might have a good chance of winning something with those small. Oh, no, don't go away. So yeah, this is what we have. Sorry if for the Coke can, not sponsored. Um anyways, yeah, we got the pokey perch. I caught two herring. That little tiny guy right there is James's that he let me use for bait, but I'm going to enter it anyways. I don't know. Then yeah, there's a pretty big herring. Anyways, we're going to go weigh in our fish now. I just called Avery and asked him. Well, we're, I think we're going to go now. We're going to. I'm going to go weigh in the fish, and um, I just called um, Avery and asked him if there's anything at Coronet Bay. He didn't. He didn't pick up, so I just. Left a voicemail, so yeah, that's another update. Um, I think yeah, we're gonna go win the fish now. That's what we're doing. But um, this is what we're weighing in. We got the pogey perch, the really big herring, and the tiny little smell thing that James caught. So yeah, it's about a 20 minute walk over there. Um, maybe when we get back, I can tie on like a some treble hooks with like a big weight, and then maybe attempt. Well, I mean, there is like a, a prize bracket for the strangest thing caught on a smelt jig. So, I don't know, if I can catch like a hat or a piece of wood or something, I don't know. Doesn't hurt to try, so anyways, see you in about 20 minutes or so. Yeah. 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 That's good enough. Yeah. He's probably going to win. Um, I don't know what's going to come up. So I know my phone doesn't. Got an hour and a half. So far, he's winning. Oh, that's fine. And this is a good time for us to leave. While we're ahead. Yeah. So good job on that. If you leave now, you're the winner. That's right. You wait an hour and a half. Who knows? Who knows?
Bye. See you guys. Bye. What is your name? Um, Nathan. Okay. Oh, we got a perch. Are you gonna put that one on the smallest? What's your age? Um, 14. Is that for Thomas? Yes. City? Um, Camino. Mm, candlefish, I think. Yeah. Um, Okay. Um, little smells had no chance of, of making it because um Avery's little brother Ethan he has the smallest um, smelt and um, on herring wise I'm in third place and James is in second and um, but I am in first place for smallest like miscellaneous fish because because there was also two candlefish up there and um, so yeah, I think I might have a chance of winning that, so, hmm. I don't know. I caught like this clam right here, clam shell with like a little like, oh look, there's actual, I think there might be an actual live hermit crab in there. So I'm gonna see if it qualifies. I guess we only got like 20 minutes left in the derby, so everything counts. Okay, so it does qualify. Um, I don't know if it's going to win or anything, but it does qualify, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. So, Avery, anything on the Small Derby? What did you just say? Anything on... I have to say anything about it? Uh, small Derby? Well, when I walked in there, I thought it was a daycare at first. Yeah. I didn't win, but I think you're going to win, Nathan. Yeah, I'm going to get, like, second. He's mostly... I, yeah, he bit off the head of a herring. Yeah. What did it taste like? Got a trophy for that. Yeah, actually got a trophy for that. It tasted pretty great. It tasted yeah. like that pepperoni that you just gave me. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you, did you, you must... out of all those big fish you're catching? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Avery, you're a famous um, YouTube star. How do you think of that? How do you, uh -huh. what, do you what do you think about that? Was my uh, stuttering. It's pretty great, you know. My stuttering? Yeah. Um, the YouTube part, you know, that's what I Okay, back to um, James McFlurry. Um, haven't seen say anything about that. Nope, that was fun though. Yep. And Stop. I. That's nice, Avery. Well, I think we're gonna end it there, and then I'll turn back the camera on. As you can probably see, my camera is like this, and you probably see me sideways. But. You know, when we like give out the prizes because. Avery's getting a little salty that he had to bite off a fish. Oh, well, James, what do you think of my artwork that I drew at the smoke derby? Good. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I'm going to keep it here. Here. Avery. Sub. Two. Is it your brother? What? It's your brother. Where? Right there. Oh. Let's see what. Is this your new trying to do? What? Did you make that too? <laughs> yeah. This is art. This is probably the best thing I ever did with in my life. Um, so look at that nice detail. He was a slow mo bee roll. Down, 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 down. down. Alright.
Cruz. Wow. Avery, that's your little brother. Yep. He's real proud. Way to go, Ethan. And this is first place for the largest herring, 13 and older. Aaron Townsend, 10 inch herring. Wow. Oh, dang it. That was sarcastic, though. Good thing I have two batteries. So this is the largest pairing, 12 and under, goes to Kelly Lockroom. Participation trophy. <laughs> I definitely qualify for that. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that, Ethan. Hmm? Watch, look at trophy. Oh. Oh. Nice. That trophy, you look at him. So, second place, largest of our 12 and under, Levi. Two trophies. Wow, look at that. Two trophies. Way to go. Thirteen and older. 
brothers with the same names. That was Thompson. So, largest hair in 13 and older, nine and a quarter inches, Remy. Well, as you can see here, I won the trophy for the smallest fish in the unusual category, which was that pogey perch. And James and Avery didn't win anything, but um, Ethan, Avery's little brother, got he got two tro trophies. And then plus, um, as since out of all three of us, Avery caught like the smallest fish, so his punishment was that he had to bite off the head of a herring. If so you'll see that in his video. So yeah, guess that's been another episode of Heels and Reels. Peace. <laughs>
not to brag or anything, but trophy's a trophy. And which that still means, let's see, I've been into like, um, I don't know, four different derbies, I think. The first derby I was in, I was in a trout derby, and I won a fishing rod, which is the red one right there. And then, um, my second derby, I won like a fishing tackle box thing, um, fishing tackle box thing, a tackle box, and I don't know where it's at right now. I think it's upstairs somewhere. And then the third derby that I went to, I won like a t-shirt. As Salmon Derby, I got first place. Where's the t-shirt at? Is this it? Yep. Here's the t-shirt. It was 13.10 pounds, but with the guts in, well, they weighed it without the guts. So with the guts in, it would be around 15. So, boom, that's what it looks like. It was caught 723.14. Iwako. Anyways, yeah, fourth, my fourth derby, um, smell derby, who won a trophy, so, yeah. So, I guess it's too bad that I didn't, like, win the $100 prize, but still, it was a lot of fun, hang out with some friends, um, it was actually the first time I ever been fishing with James, so it was really cool to meet him, he's a nice guy and everything, um, yeah, so...